In part five of this lecture, I'm going to define two other important concepts, comparable worth and job evaluation. In 1963, Congress passed the Equal Pay Act, which required equal pay for equal work. That is, jobs that are similar or identical. In response to this new law, reformers set out to change the way people thought about compensation. Comparable worth is a concept that we borrow from economics. It's the notion that people who perform jobs of comparable worth or comparable value receive comparable pay. This idea takes into consideration the social context, the value that other people in the organization place on that job or on a specific job task. In order to determine which jobs are comparable and how much to pay, we rely on both internal and external data. Internally, we use what is called job evaluation. Externally, we can rely on labor market data and salary surveys as well. Comparable worth is an idea. Job evaluation is a tool, a process that IO psychologists use to determine how much a particular job commands in terms of compensation and benefits. The process involves identifying the compensable factors of different job titles and then determining the relative value of each of those factors before finally comparing the different job titles to one another. Compensable factors are the different components of a job that we're paying people for. Take a look at the example here on this slide. We have three different jobs, a food preparer, a cashier, and a team leader. In the fourth column, you can see examples of compensable factors, skill, responsibilities, effort, and working conditions. Next to each factor, you can see the degree to which the organization expects the job incumbent to demonstrate this factor, and we can see the weight or the relative value that the organization associates with each factor. And then we have a total column. The team leader has the highest score at 340. What this means is that we are expecting more from a team leader than we are from a foods preparer and a cashier. Most team leaders do in fact make more money than lower level employees. The job evaluation process provides evidence, data to back up those decisions. How much more is the organization going to pay the team leader? What if the team leader doesn't have as much experience as we would normally require? Or what if the team leader has three times the experience that we would normally require? Through the job evaluation process, each one of these factors is assigned a value. And regardless of who we hire in a position, we have a formula for determining fair and equal pay.